Hey, welcome back to Inside the Vandals. Well, the Idaho Vandals soccer team clinched the Big Sky Championship this past weekend with a win over Northern Colorado. Mitch Klein recaps the game and also gives us a look at the Vandals goalie who's had such a big impact on the team's success. Thanks, Tom. Well, as we all know, the Vandals have had huge success here on the pitch, recording a 9-0 conference record, along with capturing their very first Big Sky regular season championship. And if you ask anyone on the team who has been a huge part of that success, it would be freshman goalkeeper Amanda Portner. I got a chance to sit down with her to talk about her story and her time here at the University of Idaho. My name is Amanda Portner and I'm a freshman goalkeeper on the Vandal soccer team. A lot of the drive that's within me now comes from uh, three coaches that I had within my high school program. Um, my head coach, Jeff Gordon, um, he's been there for me since day one and always, you know, known exactly what to say and exactly what to do to keep pushing me to uh, work hard. And then uh, my freshman and sophomore year, I had a goalkeeper coach, uh, Laura, and she, you know, she always drove me to be better. She never accepted if I said that was my best, she never accepted that. She always believed that I had more in me and, you know, was always a mentor uh, to me. And then my junior and senior year in high school, I had another goalkeeper coach, uh, AJ, and he just continued to do the same thing. You know, all three of them have been, you know, parental older sibling figures that I'm still in touch with to this day. Um, and they've all, you know, encouraged me and pushed me to be the best goalkeeper and the best person I can be. Coaches helped me realize that I need to focus on the details and that if I focus on the details both on and off the field, because a goal, being a goalkeeper is very, very detail oriented. If I think about the big picture, something's gonna, something's gonna go wrong. But if I focus on the details like on the field, then I'm gonna make that save and I'm gonna prevent a certain situation from happening. And you know, I've taken it into life and here at the University of Idaho, if I focus on the little things and do the best that I can on those details, then the big picture will fall in as it needs to be. I love it. I love it here in Moscow, Idaho. It's an extremely different world from Southern California. Um, I knew I wanted to change and I've just, I haven't found anything that I don't like here. I love the small town atmosphere. I love the support that we have from the community and I love being able to, you know, be a part of such a great program. I'm a competitor in all things in my life. Um, I just, I don't settle. My best yesterday is not nearly as good as my best tomorrow. Um, or my best today even. Um, I'm always striving to become better and taking each advice, you know, advice from everybody on the team, you know, players, managers, you know, even to Coach Pittman and uh, Josh and Laura, you know, everybody has different, different pieces of advice that I can incorporate and never settle to be something mediocre. Hey, thanks, Mitch, for that. Well, the Idaho Vandal volleyball team had another successful road trip as they split a pair of games on the road. Alyssa Charleston with the story. The Idaho Vandal volleyball team extended their win streak to five last Thursday on the road against Weber State. A different story would happen on Saturday as the Idaho State Bengals swept the Vandals in Pocatello. After this successful road trip, the Vandals still find themselves second in the north and they'll return here to Memorial Gym for this weekend's games. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Melissa Charleston. The Kibbe Dome here on the campus of the University of Idaho was in rare form this past homecoming weekend. No surprise that it is now on the map as Michaela Dirks has the story. So what set Idaho apart from the rest? Maybe it is the unique and intriguing dome itself, perhaps the pride of the mighty vandal, or maybe it is the fans who keep showing up and filling the stands. This week, USA Today put the Kibbe Dome on the map by being voted one of the best college stadiums in the nation. You know, I think it was great for our recruiting for that to come out in USA Today that we're, you know, we're one of the top 10 venues in the country to come watch a game. I think that really helps us. We can send that out to all the recruits when you're in the home recruiting a kid. You can talk to their parents about how exciting it is, how all the fans get into it. It's a very loud atmosphere and it's just, it's just a great place to come watch a game and I think it, it'll do nothing but help us, you know, over and over in recruiting. 
alongside prestigious universities such as LSU, Ohio State, and UCLA. But what is so special about this little stadium? Sitting proud in Moscow, Idaho since 1975, the Kibbe Dome is 14 stories high with a barrel-shaped roof that covers the dome, keeping the noise loud and the fans warm, even in the coldest Idaho weather, and is one of the most unique stadiums in the country. It is a multi-purpose facility being used interchangeably from the football field to the Cowan Spectrum Basketball Stadium when the boys of fall have finished. With only 16,000 seats, the smallest home field in the FBS, Idaho holds true to the saying, big things come in small packages. Hey, well, that'll do it for this week's edition of Inside the Vandals. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to tune in next week as we look back on the Vandals road game at New Mexico State. And when we look ahead as they're back on the road at South Alabama. As always, make sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, and we'll see you back here next week. Hey, I want to give this game ball to someone that we all love more than anything in this world, the most special kid I've ever been around. And everybody say a prayer for him tonight, and I'm going to give him this game ball. That's Jace. Yeah.